Hello, and welcome to DVD Review. I'm Mitchell Herman, and with me today is Tomas Menchaca. Today, we're going to be reviewing X-Men First Class. Let's take a look. In X-Men First Class, James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender play the young Professor X and Magneto way back in the 1960s when the Professor is a beer-swilling college partier and Magneto is a cold-hearted Nazi hunter in South America. There are thousands of men on those ships that's just following orders. I've been at the mercy of men just following orders. Never again. You may remember Fassbender from Inglorious Bastards as the German-speaking undercover British officer. He speaks German again here as a haunted Holocaust survivor, bent on hunting down the evil Nazi doctor who tormented him, played by a silky Kevin Bacon. Professor X and Magneto join forces and gather a team of super-powered mutants to defeat the Nazi doctor, who is now working on a plan to destroy the world by starting a nuclear war. The previous X-Men films worked largely because each character was able to form a distinctive on-screen persona with a unique set of instantly recognizable powers. In X-Men First Class, the filmmakers seem to have run out of good ideas for superpowers, and we are left with a motley assortment of uninteresting and sometimes silly characters. Avid fans of the X-Men storyline may find some of the character development interesting, but otherwise, you should pass this one up. So, I said pass. What did you think about the movie, Tomas? Um, I thought it was pretty interesting because you could see the backstories of the X-Men characters. Yeah, you know, I agree. I think um, the, my favorite part of the movie was, was those backstories. And if you've seen the, the previous films, which are actually, this is a sequel to the, I mean a prequel to those, yeah. then um, you, know, you may find those backstories interesting. But I think for a lot of people who don't know the X-Men storyline that well, I think this movie is just going to fall flat for them. Well, I disagree with you because I've never seen any of the X-Men movies before oh, this really? one. I've never seen any of the ones before and I've never read the comics and I still thought it was pretty interesting. Well, you know, my, my biggest complaint about this movie was the, um, the characters. I thought a lot of the characters were uninspired and uninteresting. I mean, especially, I mean, some of them were just silly. Like that one, um, you know, the fairy woman who shot little balls of embers or whatever. I mean, that wasn't oh, even moderately yeah. interesting. Yeah, I, I definitely don't disagree with that. Many of the characters had, uh, were uninteresting or their powers were just stupid. You know, I think uh, one of the stronger parts of the movie was um, the acting. I, I, I like, um, I have some of the actors at least, I, I, I like James McAvoy and Michael Fassbender who played Professor X and Magneto. You know, they've, they've been in good movies before, in Glorious Bastards. And yeah. I, I didn't like Kevin Bacon that much, who played the main right. villain. Um, I, I, I just thought him unimpressive. He just he didn't seem very scary to me. Mm -hmm. I feel like he, as an actor, has been typecasted as like a, a snake-like... It, it's strange for an actor to be typecast late in their career, but mm -hmm. maybe he's actively choosing these roles for some reason because he enjoys playing the uh, snaky villain. <laughs> I think Dr. X, I thought he was probably the most interesting character. Oh, you mean uh, Professor X? Professor X, yes. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, played by James McAvoy, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, yeah, he was. I mean, not all of the powers were interesting. I think it's always interesting to watch Magneto, uh, you know, ripping metal things yeah. apart. I felt like the storyline was a little clunky. It, it felt like it moved along at a strange pace, like like events happened next to each other and there was it just too quickly. I don't know. I think what the, the whole purpose of the movie was to, ins I, for me, it inspired me to want to watch the, you know, the next X-Men movies in the storyline, and that's what I'm probably going to do in the future now. Well, I say pass. Tomas says rent it. X-Men First Class is now available on DVD. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching.